I love this trap. Whoa, come on, Bob. You can't sneak up on me like that, man. I didn't know you got up this early anyway. What happened? Did dawn finally occur in the cave? You troll. Uh, but you actually caught me with my awesome portable fire pit that comes with its own travel bag that I got at Camping World because I'm getting ready to do some fall camping. And you know what, since you're here, let's go ahead and talk about that. Whether you're gonna take that RV trip to go view some of that beautiful fall foliage, or you wanna take that path less traveled with the loved ones, you're gonna to need to stock up on the gear. And let's face it, fall camping can be some of the best throughout the entire year. You're talking about crisp mornings, beautiful leaves turning colors and hitting the ground. It could be probably the best camping experience you're gonna have all year long. So what do you say we stock you up with the right gear for it? Come on. When you're talking about stocking up for fall gear for camping, probably the biggest and most important is going to be the tents. Not the past tents or the future tents, the tents you're gonna be sleeping in. That's a knee slapper, <laughs> somebody got it. Anyway, planning for that fall camping trip is probably gonna be the most important step when you're talking about going out. Always check the weather, always check what's gonna happen. Make sure that you pack clothing that's going to be appropriate. Layers, get those additional warming spots, just in case it does get a little bit cooler at night outside or if you go towards the mountains. Your tent is also gonna be set up the same way. Now, my family and I, we use an eight person tent like this Camper's Choice dome tent right here with additional side rooms. I like it because it's spacious. It's got the durable fiberglass poles that can easily be attached. Bob and I set this up, didn't take us too long at all. And look, if two half wits can set it up like Bob and I, surely you can set it up. I would suggest though, getting somebody to help you. Can it be set up one person? Absolutely. but. Having somebody help only makes it go faster and more effective. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, Camping World has tons of tent options. This is another good one right here, the Buddy Hunter Dome Tent. I've even seen some people in extreme cases take a large tent like this one and a smaller tent inside because it's double insulation. You're talking about WeatherTech material that's wind resistant, most of them up to 35 miles an hour. You do have the vents, you do have the rain flies, but when you have two tents in there, you're talking about double insulation, really good temperature control. So good for two people right here. Another great option is the Coleman four-person dome tent. Now, what's great about these tents and the Camper's Choice is they have these welded seams on the bottom that give it almost a tub type of uh, appearance and feel. There's not gonna be any water coming in from the bottom and the seams are inverted, so they're on the inside. So you don't have to worry about those being exposed to the elements. Easy to set up. This one, the poles are already built in. This one takes about five minutes to set up. You can even get the eight-person dome tent that has a screened-in porch on the front. You talk about a nice option. That's a great option for how many other people you wanna sleep. And it also gives you different ways to do the configurations, as you can see there. Last but not least, of course, my favorite, the Camper's Choice eight person, like I was just talking about. Look at the floor plan there. You're looking at a good 155 total square feet, six foot nine inches on the center, which when you're talking about setting up and airflow, having something that's taller than you really does help out. So find the tent that's gonna be right for you. The floor plan is gonna be right for you. You're gonna have tons of options at your local camping world. But once you get your tent set up, what are you gonna put in it? The place you gotta sleep. So let's check that out next. Now, when you take your RV to your favorite fall campsite, especially some of those good sand parks that have just gorgeous views, the comfort of your RV doesn't have to leave if you decide to take your tent and go do some fall tent camping. For example, get yourself one of these inflatable mattresses, especially if you want something lush and comfortable. So many brands to choose from, from Camping World. Like for example, these Intexes, they have the DuraBeam standard construction. They're lightweight. You can get them in multiple sizes, multiple heights as well. 10 inches, 12 inches. And the thing that I really like about these, especially for portable camping, is they come with the battery pump included. You don't have to always plug it into shore power. Now, if you say, Chris, that's all nice and good, but we want something a little bit more plush, a little bit more comfortable, then I would suggest the AeroBed Luxury Mattress. Now, these can be up to 12 inches thick. They even come with a beautiful soft topper to it and a carrying bag like most of the AeroBeds do. Uh, they have adjustable settings, adjustable airflow, but you do have to plug it in to 110 power 
in order to get this thing inflated. So you could easily plug it into your RV if you're hooked up to shore power or if you got the generator going, or if you bring a little portable generator, just make sure that you get the right power source to inflate your aero bed. You say, okay, Chris, that's all nice and good, but we got sleeping bags. Hey, I'm a sleeping bag type of guy. We have cots and sleeping bags for my family whenever we go camping, and we love them. My son actually uses this Coleman sleeping bag right here. This is the Alpine. Now, you have various, not only temperature ratings, but thicknesses and comfort. Some of them come fleece lined. Some of them come like this one here, which is fleece lined. They're just so comfortable. Some of them have that kind of microfiber lining in it as well. It's really gonna be your comfort profile because there is a sweat thing that you gotta worry about in there. So just be sure to check it, but also check the temperature rating. Like for this one, this one's rated for up to 50 degrees. You got the regular fit, you got the mummy type of fits. They are machine washable. They got the roll control and the quick cord to keep them locked up. Another great option is this one right here, the Outbounds, a great camping sleeping bag. This one is also a rectangular fit. You can see the dimensions there. You got kid sizes, you got adult sizes, the whole nine. And when you get inside to get comfy, sleep, and get ready to go to bed, don't forget before you do any of that, I've always heard that the best fruit ripens slow. And since we are not fresh farm picked strawberries, clean yourself before you get up in there. Even though it's fall, it's not gonna be that, that hot outside. Grab yourself some Venture Wipes. They come individually packaged. They're great for cleaning up before you knock out for the night. And if you say, Chris, that's awesome, man, but tell us a little bit more about those cots. Let me tell you, for fall camping, getting up off the ground is important. That's why I'd use the sleeping bag, use the aero bed. But if you do the combination of the cot with the sleeping bag, you're up off the ground, you got more airflow, more support, and these things are extremely comfortable and easy to set up. These are the easy up cots. We have four of them. You got the padded head up top. And let me show you how easy these are to set up. They come with their own carrying case. It is a little bit of a tight fit when you're getting it in. Just make sure you go lengthwise to put the case in. But setup is a breeze. They fold out. You got reinforced padding on these and lock in place, zip and Velcro to make sure you are sturdy and locked in on both sides. Another tip, you'll notice the white powder on there. That's baby powder. Not only is that gonna help uh, with the, the, the moisture, but it's also gonna help with the smell. So we'd like to put baby powder on the cots to help for the boys because they're boys and boys stink. But these are made of antimicrobial fabrics, so they will not accumulate mold, they will not accumulate mildew. But if you got really smelly boys, do some of that. Another great feature to put under your cot are these awesome Rock Creek inflatable mats. These easily blow up, they easily deflate as well. And even if this pops out, the air is not gonna come out because you have the rubber stopper in there. These are great to give you some additional comfort in between your sleeping bag on your, and your cot. The only thing is they are a little bit noisy. So if you're gonna put them on your cot, I would say wrap them up uh, in a sheet on top of the mat and the cot. Plus they also move during the night. But a great additional comfort to help make sure when you're enjoying those fall nights, you're looking up at the stars, enjoying the beautiful land that you're in, the fall foliage, you're gonna knock out and have yourself probably one of the best nights of sleep humanly possible. But uh, one of the things you also wanna think about at night is being able to see. Let's go talk about that next. You know, another great thing about those aero beds, those cots and those uh, sleeping bags, if your RV is set up for just you or you know you're gonna have visitors coming in, they make great additions to the additional sleeping space inside your RV that it might not have been built for. So, just something to think about. Now, illumination is key. Whether it's daytime, nighttime, you're gonna be taking that emergency trip at night to the bathroom, you wanna have some great options. And we have everything from solar powered options to rechargeable options to battery powered options. We even have ones that are solar powered that will even charge your cell phone with things like a five watt solar panel like this Lucy light has. Now this one, there is one uh, that does have the charger on it. This one does not, but you'll see it's solar powered, multiple light settings, including the emergency light setting, which a lot of them will have. You want to really decorate and jazz up the place, but not have to worry about power when you're out doing that fall camping. Check out the solar powered 
50 LED light ropes. These are great not only for additional safety and security, but they really dress up the place. Now, if you wanna have some fun, these mason jar lights, multiple color settings, just really are a lot of fun. And once again, will help with that safety and security. Now for us, I'm a fan of the Lumina, the iJoy Lumina light, because let's see if I can get this one on here. We had it plugged in. I don't think the battery is all the way charged up, but this one even has a Bluetooth speaker on it. So multiple light settings, decorative fun, but also serves a double purpose of giving you some entertainment while you're out there as well. And then if you want one of the big boys like this one here, you got the multiple light settings, multiple, it even has the emergency flash setting. This one and some of these Coleman lanterns can give you light for up to 40 feet. So find the one that's gonna be right for you, whether it's something as easy as the metallic, the, the, the metal magnetized grip light. These little jokers are extremely bright or something fun like the extendable little mini lantern make the lighting part of enjoying that fall camping trip, but also making sure you can enjoy it by staying safe. Another thing just you're gonna really help make that trip enjoyable is the tools you can take with you. Now, I'm a fan of these Rock Creek uh, multi cook sets like this one here. This is a five piece kitchen set. It's great because A, you don't have to worry about bringing your own pots and pans and ruining them over a campfire, but they are built to go camping. They're stackable. They even have their own little carrying bag and they have the inserts that you can take out, keep clean. So when you put this over the fire, bada bing, bada boom. And if you need something to take out to do a little multi-tool, get yourself a multi-tool like a Leatherman or something like that, but also pick up one of these. These Eat and Tool XL Black Kits are great because you got the spoon, the spork option, plus you got the bottle opener, the screwdriver, the multi-tool, the can opener, and I mean, it's a spork as well. Another tool that's going to be useful while you're out fall camping because just because the weather's getting nicer and the leaves are turning doesn't mean that the bugs are going to not be there. Get yourself some really good, not only sun protectant, but bug protecting as well. Last but not least, when it comes to the tools, probably the most important part, your RV should have one of these anyway. But if you're going to go fall camping, get another one just in case. A good first aid kit always comes in handy, whether it's a bug bite, a cut or a scrape. You want to make sure you take care of that because you don't know how far away you are from the closest doctor or emergency room. So having a first aid kit is always a good idea when fall camping. One more thing too about the fall camping guy. You wanna make sure you have a chance to enjoy the fall camping, enjoy the foliage, enjoy being outside. Get yourself some comfy camp chairs, get yourself a hammock as well. That's gonna allow you to lay out and look up at the trees at all those beautiful leaves. They're comfortable. We have ones that have the covers, the fly covers, whatever you need. There are so many options for chairs and hammocks and your comfort you can find at your local Camping World and Gander. All you gotta to do to get prepared for fall camping is just go dig out what you want to dig out and then go enjoy a wonderful fall camping trip.